this is the end zone. Let's move the chains. The XFL has been purchased. Yes, the XFL is coming back. So let's get into who is purchasing the XFL. First off, the XFL is selling for $15 million and it's being split between three different people who are coming together, purchase the XFL. Now we talked a lot about media companies. Well, a lot of this is media based, media influence. So with that being said, let's get into it. First, the XFL is being purchased by Dwayne The Rock Johnson, Redbird Capital Partners, and Danny Garcia. We're gonna break them down each individually, who they are, what they bring to the table. Now, uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, he really needs no intro at all. I mean, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is a superstar in America. He is a former football player, so he understands the sport. He played for Miami when Miami had all-stars all around. He played in the CFL. Now he is an actor. He has worked with the WWE. He's an athlete. He has his own branding with Under Armour. This guy is literally a giant and figuratively a giant. Uh, he is a huge get for the XFL. You also have Redbird Capital Partners. Now, Redbird Capital Partners is basically uh, they invest. They invest in a lot of sports related things. So, one thing that I saw that I'm familiar with is the Yes Network. They are the Yankees sports network, so you can watch all the Yankees games, Yankees coverage on there. Uh, they've invested in a soccer team. They've invested in just a lot of sports-related uh, events, companies, uh, leagues. They work with MLB, NFL. So this is a very, very huge get. They know what they're doing. And finally, Danny Garcia. Now, Danny Garcia is married to Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Now, she is a chairwoman, CEO, an investor, a producer. She does just about everything. Talk about a person who is involved in the media. She does a lot with featured film, with television. Uh, she works with a lot that Dwayne The Rock Johnson does. So whenever you watch his movies, a lot of his movies that you see that Dwayne The Rock Johnson is in, she is part of that. She's a huge part of that. So. We have very, very big players in the XFL purchase, especially on the media side. That's a very good thing. Again, $15 million. I'm going to be pumping out videos for you guys, talking about what the next steps are, talking about some possibilities for the XFL and what we are going to see. But yes, $15 million. Breaking news. The XFL has been purchased. I'd love to know what you think down below. Thanks for watching The End Zone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment so we can move the chains.